Hi guys, it's Amal Holland here from The Batch Lady and today we are out in the garden because I want to show you barbecue hack bags. How you can get organised for a barbecue in advance. So that when you wake up on it's a lovely Saturday morning and you think wouldn't it be great to have a barbecue, you don't necessarily have to go running out to the shops with everybody, hordes of people and try to collect barbecue stuff. Instead you can have it ready in advance in your freezer and it's super easy to do. So what I generally do is I have a few of these silicon bags, okay? and um, a large sort of um, Ziploc plastic bag that just does as my outer bag. Okay, and I today I'm going to make, um, in my bags I'm going to put chicken, uh, burgers, uh, sausages, I'm going to put some um, chopped peppers, some uh, corn on the cob and some homemade burgers. Okay, so it's going to be delicious. So what you want to do is take two bags. Now it's in Scotland, it's windy here. So in our two bags, you just want to put some sausages in either. So however much your family will eat, okay? So I know my family will go through sort of like six sausages between the four of us, okay? So put your sausages in the bottom of the bag. I'll bring the other ones over here to let you see. So I've got enough that I can make a whole other bag there, which I'll do later on once I've showed you this. Okay, then you can go ahead and start to put other things in as well. So I've got some chicken here and I'm just going to use a Nando's Pretty Pretty Rub just to marinate it. I'm having to shout to you above the birds, they're so loud today. Okay, so you can just pour on that dry rub. You don't need to do anything else with it, you're going to cook it when it comes back out of the freezer, obviously. Now, you can just add in, I've got some burgers that I made before, um, and I'm just going to add them into the actual bag as well. You could do marinated steaks, you could do whatever you wanted. I'm going to stick with burgers and put them in there. Okay, just before we do our chicken, we are going to also add in our corn in the cob. So this is frozen corn in the cob, and I'm just going to put a couple in each. What this means is when I go to barbecue and I pull out this bag in the morning, everything is in it okay and you can mix this stuff up it's okay that it's meat and it's veg because it's all getting cooked so you'll see lots of this in the supermarket as well let's go ahead and chop up our peppers and get them in the bag now i love chopped peppers and i just sort of quarter them then when you get them out of the bag and you're ready to make your barbecue you can just put some either garlic olive oil or just some other olive oil over the top and then throw them on the top of the barbecue and they are delicious now these barbecue bags are great as well for if it happens to be really nice weather you decide to have a barbecue but maybe it's you know money's tight at the end of the month or whatever it is at least you know you've already got them done okay so i just leave these in quarters and take a few of each and add them to the bags and you take these out in the morning you can separate the little bags out and they'll be great to go and all you really need is a bit of salad in, you might want a baked potato, and the majority of the stuff you can already have in. You can even take the rolls for the burgers and just freeze them alongside the bag so that you know that you've got absolutely everything. Okay, lastly, in our bags, we want to put our chicken, okay? So we've already put, it, put the marinade rub in, and I'm gonna keep these separate again. Now these bags are washable and reusable, so um, you can just rub over this dry rub, okay? throughout the chicken and when it goes in the freezer it's going to have time to marinate all that lovely spice in it and you could do this with any it doesn't have to be dry rub it can be a wet rub as well i've just taken these chicken breasts and half them okay because they're much better split in half for the barbecue they'll cook a lot quicker you don't want to do them more than half or they'll fall through the little runs of the barbecue Right, we've got our chicken in each bag. I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to come back and finish the bags off. Okay guys, I've got both my bags here. I'm just going to seal up this last chicken one now that my hands are all clean and in it goes to the final bag. I just know my headspace then, everything that I need for a family of four. We've got chicken, burgers, um, you could have beef in there, you could do it with halloumi, you could have whatever you want, but you know that you've got some veg in there, you've got different types of meat, you could do skewers, you've got your sausages, you could literally do anything and it's already done, the bag's ready to go so that next time you're ready for a barbecue, you're just pulling it out, leaving it to defrost and everything you know.
is in your bag. Why not give it a go? Barbecue hack bags. They are brilliant at giving you stress-free barbecues. Thanks for watching The Batch Lady. Bye.